Good day everyone. I am Aravelia Grace Iskanong and I am from Group 4 and I am reporting about classification of tourism on the basis region of tourism. There are three forms of classification of tourism. The first one is domestic tourism. Domestic tourism compresses the activities of a resident visitor within the country of reference, either as part of a domestic tourism trip or part of an outbound tourism trip. It involves trips by made local residents within their own countries. Domestic tourism is an easy form of tourism where a tourist doesn't have to have any legal requirements to travel. He or she can travel or visit any place within the country whenever they want. Also, in domestic tourism, the tourist doesn't have to face problems that he or she has to face when they are visiting a foreign country. Domestic tourists. They are tourists who travel within their own country. Domestic tourists are 10 times as many as international tourists. Types of domestic tourists in the Philippines. Interregional tourist is a tourist moves from one region to another. Intraregional tourist is a tourist moves from one province to another within one specific region. And the last one is local tourist, often classified as an excursionist because of the assumption that he or she will not need to stay beyond 24 hours in his or her destination, which is always within his or her province. Inbound tourism. Inbound tourism is an important type of tourism. Many countries rely heavily on the demand from inbound tourists to fuel the development and operations of their tourism economy. Inbound tourism is often seasonal, meaning that many destinations will have evident pink, shoulder, and low season. This is depend on weather condition, for example, sun or snow, on school and public holidays. Manila, the country's tourism industry has generated some 245 billion pesos in receipt from international visitors during the first six months of the year 2019, the Department of Tourism said on Friday. The corresponding total received from the six months arrivals increased by 17.57% from the half-year gross revenues in 2018. Inbound Tourism Definition The most widely utilized definition of tourism proposed by the World Trade Organization and United States Nation Statistics Division 1994 Prescribed that in order to qualify as a tourist, one must travel and remain in a place outside of their usual residential environment for not more than one consecutive year for leisure, business, or other purpose. When considering inbound tourism, it therefore makes sense to simplify add in the pre-use site PF of the traveling to another country. The importance of inbound tourism. This is largely because of the economic benefits of tourism. Tourism can bring in a lot of money to a country through foreign exchange. This is particularly beneficial in countries where the currency is weaker than the currency of the tourist home countries. It is for this reason that many countries will target their advertising towards certain nationalities. However, overdependence in inbound tourists can be risky business for destinations. There are many destinations such as Maldives, Spain, and Greece who rely heavily on people traveling from other countries to their country for tourism. The problem occurs when the travel industry is disrupted. Inbound tourism can also be negatively affected as a result of other factors such as political unrest, natural disaster, or economic instability. 
Outbound tourism. Outbound tourism refers to the activities of a resident visitor from outside of their country of residence. Outbound tourism is the act of traveling out of your home country for the purpose of tourism. Outbound tourism does not include the purchasing of goods or service before or after the trip within the tourism generating country. The term outbound tourism and inbound tourism are often used interchangeable. The only exception to this would be if a person was traveling on a multi-century trip, for example a backpacker. This is because they are not necessarily traveling from their home country. Outbound tourism definition, the most widely utilized definition of tourism proposed by the World Trade Organization and United States Nation Statistic Division, prescribed that in order to qualify as a tourist, one must travel and remain in a place outside of their usual residential environment for not more than one consecutive year of leisure, business, or, or other purposes. When considering outbound tourism, it therefore makes sense to the simply add in the pre- prerequisite of leaving your home country. The growth of outbound. The outbound tourism market has grown considerably throughout the years. Of course, the outbound tourism market has grown at the different rates in different parts of the world. But the reason for this growth are largely the same. Three of the biggest factors contributing the growth of outbound tourism are the advent of low-cost travel, increase in disposal income, leisure time, and globalization. The advent of low-cost travel, increased competition within the marketplace, and the introduction of low-cost airlines has meant that more of us are able to travel more often. Increase is feasible income and leisure time. In recent years, the amount of disposable income that the average person has each year has increased. This means that the people have more money to spend on international tourism. People also have more leisure time than they used. Paid holidays and increased flexibility as a result of flexi time practice at work means that people have more opportunities of international tourism than they did in the past. Globalization More people want to experience outbound tourism nowadays than ever before. Globalization has opened up many opportunities for us around the world. Many destinations that were not previously accessible have opened up subsequently developed their tourism industries. The importance of outbound tourism. Outbound tourism is hugely important to many countries around the world. The OECD have a handy tool on their website which demonstrate of the value of this tourism in different parts of the world. Outbound tourism has many positive economic impacts that reaches further than just the tourism industry. Outbound tourism can also help to enhance the economies of many countries by providing economic boosts in a range of sectors such as retail, healthcare, and education. Positive impact of outbound tourism Outbound tourism can be beneficial for both the traveler generating region and their tourist destination region. In the tourist home country, outbound tourism can help to boost the economy. If tourists use a local operator to organize a travel arrangement, such as national airline or domestic travel agent, then some of the profits made will be retained in the home country. When the tourist reaches their holiday destination, there are many economic advantages to the host destination. The graph below the Office of National Statistics outlines the areas that profit the most from outbound tourism. Foreign exchange income can be particularly beneficial in a destination where the currency is weak. Many destinations focus their marketing efforts in countries that have strong currencies, such as UK, USA, or Europe. Another positive impact of outbound tourism is that income from tourism can be used to help boost the wider economy. Money can be reinvested in areas such as healthcare and education. 
Negative impact of outbound tourism. There are two major economic impacts that can have a negative effect on the destination. The first is economic leakage in tourism. Outbound tourists often seek the familiar and may choose to spend their money in large chain organizations such as Hilton Hotel or McDonald's fast food restaurant. This choose causes money to be taken out of the tourist destination region, thus limiting the positive impact from tourism. The second is over-dependence. If a destination relies too heavily on their outbound tourism industry, they could come into trouble such should this be disrupted. Disruption to the tourism industry occur frequently around the world. Reasons including natural disaster, political unrest, economic instability, and pandemics. Hi, I'm Neil Valerideth Abuzar, and I will be sharing to you the classification of tourism on the basis of the number of tourists. So what is the difference between tourists and tourism? A tourist is a person who travels to a place for pleasure, while tourism is the business of providing amenities to tourists or the activity of traveling for pleasure. What are the different types of tourism? Tourism is traveling from one location to another, either within your country's borders or across the borders, for leisure, educational, medical, or other reason. In recent years, the tourism industry has experienced significant growth because of the change in people's lifestyles, reduced air travel charges, and the thirst for education. The types of tourism depends on why you choose to travel the specific destination. Hence, there are Various types of tourism. I will give you in this article a list of 10 common types of tourism. Number 1. Domestic Tourism In this type of tourism, citizens of a country only travel within their country. Citizens choose the domestic tourism because it is cost-effective and allow them to explore some of the physical features and other historical sites. It allows them to learn and understand the history of different communities and how some events place. 2. Health and Wellness Tourism Since prehistoric days, health and wellness tourism has been a necessary form of tourism. Travelers in need of reclaiming their wellness find this category of tourism quite attractive. This distinctive of tourism can assist you in overcoming psychological and physical pressure. There are many renowned attractions for boosting one's well-being worldwide. Number 3. Dark Tourism Dark tourism is a unique form of tourism. Number three, dark tourism. Dark tourism is a unique form of tourism that goes by the name of morning tourism. Dark tourism entails going to places and sites associated with some of history's most tragic events. These destinations are famous for their historical significance, besides their history of human pain and carnage. Example of dark tourism may include visiting places affected by genocide, war, or disaster. Number 4. Alternative Tourism Alternative tourism is a word for a variety of specialized tourism activities. It is a distinct type of travel regarded as a mass tourism conundrum. It usually entails more personal and unique travel that stimulates engagement with the local ecosystem, inhabitants, and culture. Volunteer tourism, ecological tourism, community tourism, and medical tourism are just a few examples of alternative tourism. Number five, countryside tourism. Countryside tourism is a specialized activity where visitors enjoy their free time in remote regions or settlements. Tourists might arrange a trip to the isolated community for a few days or a few months. Solo travelers in particular might explore those locations to pass time when they are alone. In this distinctive form of tourism, individuals take part in the village entire community event. Rural tourism is now a component of a country holiday, where tourists spend a significant portion of their free time. As a result, they get a taste of rural leisure activities. Number 6. Business Tourism This type of tourism includes traveling to a different location to attend a business issues or work. In business tourism, individuals still work according to their regular schedule, but the difference is they're going it away from their typical workplaces. 
In business tourism, individuals still work according to their regular schedule, but the difference is they're going it away from their typical workplaces. Example of activities that happen in business travel includes attending seminars and meetings and conferences. Like other different types of tourism, business tourism may also require you to book hotels where you will stay during your stay. Educational tourism. Educational tourism involves traveling in search of new knowledge or learning a new language commonly used in that region. It can also include learning a new culture, the history of the place attending an educational event. It used to supplement education by allowing students to get travel experience. Medical tourism. People travel to different regions in the world in search of better medical health care and specialized treatment. Some disease may require a specialized doctor found in another country or a different location from yours. Examples of conditions requiring specialized medication are cancer, heart surgery, cosmetic surgery, and a gender transformation. Number 9. Booze Tourism Booze Tourism is a unique category of travel that revolves around the activity of drinking alcohol. While this exclusive interest tourism category can include wine sampling and brewery visits, it mainly involves alcohol cruise tips. A beer cruise is a boat ride that comprises a large amount of liquor intake. In 1830, party hotspots like the Greek island in the areas of Spain like Magaluf and Ibiza. Beer boats are famous. Number 10. Ancestry Tourism Ancestry Tourism, also referred to as genealogy tourism or road tourism, is a typical form of travel that includes visiting places the traveler has a family connection. This exclusive interest in tourism genre has increased in recent years. Concurrent with establishing various organizations to research person genealogy. Given the scale of past immigration in these regions, ancestral tourism sites such as Scotland, the United States, and Canada are popular. On the basis of size. On the basis of size, tourism is divided into the following three types. Mass tourism. Mass tourism is when a large group of people move together for a visit or travel. This type of tourism or travel are generally conducted by institutions, colleges, etc. for different purposes. Controlled tourism. This is another type of tourism on the basis of size in which there area limited a number of individuals traveling to different parts. This type of tourism is mainly when a family or a group of close friends travel. This controlled type of tourism is what happens most because people mainly like to travel in a small group. Elite tourism or tourist. This is another form or type of tourism where there is only one individual who travels through different parts, be it domestic or international. This type of tourist have individual mindset and can be considered powerful mentally and that would be all thank you classification of tourism on the basis of duration of tourism duration of trip refer to the time span during a visit measured from the standpoint of the generating country or place a trip begins when leaving home and ends when returning home by duration trips are classified into two main categories same day visit and overnight trips same day visits concern the activities of visitor who do not stay overnight in collective or private accommodation in a place region country visited a same day visit can be headed abroad international same day visit or domestic same day visit the definition of same-day visit is derived from the World Tourism Organization. Definition for a same-day visitor and it is also used in the EU tourism statistics. An overnight trip referred to a trip outside the usual environment during which at least one night is spent in private or collective accommodation either for free or for a charge. The maximum duration of trip is 12 consecutive months.
In the finest travel survey, an overnight trip is a statistical unit to measure the volume of overnight tourism. The duration of a trip is measured by the number of nights spent during it. Overnight traveling by both ferry, train, or other vehicle included in the total number of nights spent during the trips. The United Nations World Tourism state that tourism can be domestic tourism, inbound tourism, outbound tourism. Domestic tourists visit by resident of a country to their own country. Inbound tourists visit to a country by non-resident. Outbound tourists visit by resident of a country to another country. Average length of stay of outbound tourists in Thailand from 2010 to 2019 in days. According to data from the World Tourism Organization, the average length of stay of outbound tourists from Thailand amounted to around 6 days in 2019. The average length of stay of outbound tourists had increased compared to the previous years. In the Philippines, from 2011 to 2020, average length of stay of inbound tourists, according to the data from the World Tourism Organization, the average length of stay of inbound tourists in the Philippines were approximately 10.58 nights in 2020. The average length of stay of inbound tourists in the country had been declining over the past decades. In the tourist industry, one of the most important indexes in evaluating tourist demand and experiences is the length of stay. A length of stay index for a tourist provides a clear and reliable indicator for a level of consumption and revenue for tourist destination. Classification of tourism on the basis of season. So we have winter tourism. Winter tourism is famous in Western countries. It was largely invented by the British leisure classes, initially at Swiss village Zermatt and St. Moritz in 1864. Recently, it is arranged from December to March. In this coldest winter season, the land is covered by snow. This situation is very ideal for skating and skiing. In winter tourism, majority of the events, participants are foreign visitors who come from countries with a warm climate that have no snow. So next is summer tourism. Summer tourism is famous in Western countries and also in America. In the summer season, when the temperature is increased at the time, the people turn to hill stations. Therefore, the summer tourism arranged from March to June in every year at the hill stations. The activities like sand bath, water sports, and rain dance are enjoyed by the tourists. So next we have rainy season tourism. Rainy season tourism is now famous in India particularly in Maharashtra because of monsoon climate. Tourists are eager to take experience of heavy rainfall, fog, and waterfalls. So, the tourists arrange their tours at the high rainfall spot in rainy season. Classification of tourism on the basis of purpose of tourism. So number one we have is cultural tourism. Cultural tourism is based on the mosaic of places, tradition, art forms, celebration, and experience that portray the nation and its people, reflecting the diversity and character of the nation. The aim of cultural tourism is to experience activities and aspects. The pride of every country depends upon its cultural edifice and 107, the remains of forts, museum, theaters, art galleries, music, academies, and libraries are the standing testimonials of culture. It is undertaken to gain more knowledge about people and around their respective culture. Heritage Tourism the National Trust defines cultural heritage tourism as traveling to experience the places, 
artifacts and activities that authentically represents the stories and people of the past and present. It includes cultural, historical, and natural resources. Historical Tourism Some tourists go only to see old places, forts, museum. They may not show any interest in other places of tourist attraction. These people could be archaeologists, historians, or research scholars. Health Tourism Many visitors are using this facility and visiting area where they can get relief from the disease. This system of medicine has proved to be quite effective in those medical cases that were declared as impossible by the modern medical science. Medical Tourism Medical tourism is quite different from health tourism. A cost of medical treatment and surgery are a lot in the foreign countries. But some countries in the world like India, this treatment and surgery are comparatively cheap. Religious Tourism Such tourism activities are undertaken by religious pilgrim, devotees of Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Buddhists, Sikhs, and Jews go to their respective religious place in search of peace of mind and salvation. Several tourists undertake tours to please the soul of their great-great-grandparents or ancestors. The ceremony undertaken by them falls under the gamut of Pitra Shraddha. Educational Tourism In this type of tourism, Tourists go to educate themselves about the lands, people, geography, culture, weather, ecosystem, economy, demography, or general condition of living of a foreign country. They may visit two or more countries in one itinerary. They do not take up educational courses in the academic institutes of those countries because they are tourists and not students. Rural Tourism Rural tourism is based on integration in the local environment, utilization of local products, and participation in local activities. For rural tourism, tourists is taken to such rural areas as are fresh, untouched by materialism, and very natural. Many urban dwellers want to get away from the hustle and bustle of urban life. They seek relaxation and lonely environs, so many tour operators, such as types of tourists in remote villages. Agricultural Tourism This type of tourism activity is conducted for those tourism who are interested in agriculture, farm management, and animal husbandry. They would also visit the field in rural areas and see how villagers grow crops, add fertilizers in soil, irrigate their fields, and finally reap their harvest. Second one, farm tourism. Farm tourism is somewhat similar to agricultural tourism. Around the urban place, the farms are beautifully decorated. Despite the fact that their chef products are fruits, vegetables, orchids, in fact, the owners of these farms develop this for the purpose of re relaxing during the weekend. Their employees grow crops, vegetables, flowers, and fruits and sell them in the open markets. In this farm, the facilities like food, games, liquor, and hospitality are available. Such facilities attracted, attracted tourists and owners earn profit and employees also stand to gain. Third one, political tourism. This form of travel implies the participation in great political events and important national celebrations. This type of travel is undertaken by the politicians for studying the actual working of important organ of the government, namely legislative, executive, judicial system of other countries. Fourth one, holiday tourism. The purpose of holiday tourism of tourists is to spend the holidays far away from this residence. Tourists prefers 
to visit to the scenic beauty down beach mountain forest with this with his family mostly such type of tourism is enjoyed with family relatives friends and colleagues another one wilderness tourism for the experience of wilderness tourism tourists are taken to remote areas which are far away from human settlements these tourists want to enjoy the loneliness of the environment environs of such destination deep gorged high mountains remote and hot deserts deserts wild seas and dense forests are wishing to see in the list of tourists these tourists want to enjoy the eerie silence of the nature of these tourist spots so another of the classification of tourism in the basis of attraction mountain tourism the mountain tourism is a big business in many highly regions because mountain nearing trekking rock climbing skiing skiing river rafting golf is the major attraction for the tourist besides natural scenic attractions there are a lot of varieties of herbs wildflowers and plants covered cover, plants cover the mountain in thick foliage and they add to the natural beauty and richness of the mountains space tourism space tourism encompasses not only tourist activities in space but also visiting earth-based museums such as national air and space museum participating in space camps enjoying theme parks space campers spend two weeks learning about the universe space flight riding in a simulators using astronaut after the selection for the space tourism of tourists they are trained primarily in the operation of the spacecraft system and how to live in a space limited training can be considered as fun activity and can be included in a vacation package adventure tourism adventure is always filled with fun and thrill the lush greenery of valleys splendid sights of top of the hills blue water sunny days and starry nights boating can canoeing kayaking trekking rock climbing paragliding parasailing scuba diving scuba du bungee jumping river rafting white water rafting ocean bed walking ballooning micro, micro light flying paratroping sea surfing windsurfing water skiing and roller skating are the different branches of adventure tourism and these types of adventurous activities undertaken and enjoyed by the tourist under the supervision of trained guide sports tourism Sports tourism is motivated by the person who to practice sport. In this type of tourism, both participants and the spectators will fetch recognition, fame, and name along with a bonanza of money. The people visit other countries to watch live sports, competitions, and matches. They become sports tourists in a context. Dark tourism. Dark tourism tourism involving travel to sites associated with death and suffering death tourism is identified by lennon and foley in 2000 this type of tourism involves visit to dark sites such as battlegrounds scenes of horrific crimes as act of genocide conference tourism this is emerged as a new area in tourism and becoming popular in re recent years in order to share the latest knowledge, techniques, exchange of views among the intellectual leaders, intellectuals, leaders, businessmen, and professionals used to meet this is known as conference tourism. Business tourism. Today, business tourism has assumed an important place in a tourism scenario. With a growth in industrial and business sector, the percentage of people undertaking 
business trip per year also increased a great deal several business deal several businessmen visit to other places and uh, and countries to conduct business transactions or sign business deals with their prospective partners in foreign countries when they finish their work the business associates take them to popular tourist spots or resorts that's all classification of tourism on the basis of purpose of tourism here are some of the popular types of tourism and the basis of purpose Tourism for visiting friends and family. This is one of the major reasons why most people travel to different places during their free or leisure time. Constitutes the act of traveling to home or friends and family or to a place of mutual convenience. They are usually undertakes for relaxation and they are often seen as a subcategory of leisure, recreation, and holidays. Adventure Tourism is another type of tourism that involves experiencing your destination through physically participating in activities. It mainly appeals to those seeking adrenaline and thrill. It involves removing oneself from the everyday routine and inserting into something unfamiliar. This can involve a variety of actions such as hiking, snorkeling, skydiving. Adventure tourism locations are often referred to as bucket list destination. Medical tourism, the process of traveling to different nations or parts of the same nation for the purpose of receiving medical care called medical tourism. It is now in a growing trend. People from developing countries tend to move to develop better countries in order to receive the medical facilities that are not available in their residence. Virtual tourism. With the development of a new technology, this type of tourism is getting more traction. Basically, virtual tourism is the act of using technology to simulate traveling experience and their features. Although, virtual tourism will not replace physical visits or visits to destination, it has, been, it has seen a lot of traction since the ongoing corona pandemic. It has also been used as a marketing tool by different agencies to enhance the user's experience. Village tourism is the process of participating in a village, rural lifestyle without disturbing the natural environment. This type of tour gives you the chance to explore the real villages and like having spent a short time in different village in the trick. You have the chance to eat traditional local food prepared in the neat and clean kitchen which are delicious and hygienic. Or van tourism is a type of tourism activity that takes place in an urban space with the inherent attributes characterized by nine agricultural based economies such as administration, manufacturing, trade, and service, and by being nodal points of transport. Or van or city destination offer a broad and heterogeneous range of cultural, architectural, technological, social, and natural experience and products of leisure and business. A multiple tourist activities in which city is main destination and a place of interest. This form of tourism is relatively old and very complex. Agritourism. Agritourism is another type of tourism where a tourist or a traveler involves in any agriculturally based operation or activity that brings him or her to a farm or an agricultural land in a different places. So business of establishing farm as travel destination for educational and recreational purposes, farming related experience enjoy on a farm or agricultural setting for entertainment or educational purposes. Business tourism. Business tourism is the provision of facilities and services to the million of delegates who annually attend meetings, congresses, exhibition, business events, incentive travel, and corporate hospitality. This is more limited and focused subject of regular tourism. During business traveling, individuals are still working and being paid, but they are away from both their workplace and home. What is jail tourism? Geotourism is a tourism associated with geological attractions and destinations. 
Geotourism deals with the abiotic natural, natural and built environments. Geotourism was first defined in England by Thomas Alfred Hose in 1995. Geotourism is defined as tourism that sustains or enhances the distinctive geo geographical character of a place. Examples of geotourism. Fogo Island, Newfoundland, is using the geotourism approach to build itself into an artist's retreat and cultural center by adapting traditional materials, foods, and designs distinctive to the place. What is wildlife tourism? Wildlife tourism is an element of many nations' travel industry centered around observation and interaction with local animal and plant life in their natural habitats. Countries such as Uganda, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and Namibia receive mostly international tourists interested in wildlife. 80% of wildlife tourists in these countries are international. Most of these international tourists are from Europe. What is water tourism? Nautical tourism, also called water tourism. Is a tourism that combines sailing and boating with vacation and holiday activities. It can be traveling from port to port in a cruise ship or joining boat-centered events such as regattas or landing a small boat for lunch or other day recreation at specially prepared day boat landings. It is a form of tourism that is generally more popular in the summertime. What is recreational tourism? Recreational tourism, the main aims of recreational tourism include active participation in some kind of recreational activity or participating in a sport or cultural event as spectator. This term is often used to describe activities that are closely connected to nature, such as whale watching, birding, or self-propelled travel, such as hiking. Religious tourism. Religious and spiritual tourism refers to travel for religious or spiritual purposes, such as undertaking a pilgrimage and visiting sacred sites. What is sex tourism? Sex tourism refers to the practice of traveling to foreign countries, often on a different continent, with the intention of engaging in sexual activity or relationships in exchange for money or lifestyle support. This practice predominantly operates in countries where sex work is legal, but there are countries where laws prohibit sex work. The World Tourism Organization of the United Nations has acknowledged this industry is organized both within and outside the structured laws and networks created by them. What is space tourism? Space tourism is a human space travel for recreational purposes. There are several different types of space tourism, including orbital, suborbital, and lunar space tourism. Space tourism is a term given to the growing trend of people traveling into space for leisure. What is wellness tourism? Wellness tourism is all about travel that is focused on maintaining or improving someone's well-being. This may be physical or mental. There are different types of wellness. Activities may be spiritual, physical, or psychological, but they will all promote health in some ways. What is educational tourism? Educational tourism is one of the fastest growing areas of travel and tourism, and one that is too often overlooked by tourism professionals and marketers. For example, Many meetings and conventions have either an educational component to them or serve their members by being educational instruments. Good day everyone. My name is Zara Humalon. And my name is Wendy Timbao. So today we're going to talk about classification of tourism on the basis of attraction. What is a tourist attraction? A tourist attraction is a core component of tourism that are often called tourist attractions because they tend to attract tourists. A tourist attraction, often also referred to as a visitor attraction, is a place of interest that is commonly visited by tourists. Types of tourist attractions. There are many different types of tourist attractions that are found around the world. 
There are four types of tourist attraction that is natural, man-made, sports, and events. Number one, the natural. Natural types of tourist attractions are attractions that are naturally occurring. In other words, they are not built by man. So this picture is the example of natural. Why? Because the Benacque rice tourist is called microscope from far away but are actually quite massive. For millennia, the rice tourists allow farmers to cultivate rice and other agriculture in the steep mountains. The terraces are made of stone and mud and require constant maintenance to preserve the irrigation system as well as to plant and cultivate the nearby forest canopies located in central Luzon, Philippines. So the, the Benacque rice terraces are not uh, a human-made, human uh, is made of stone and mud for the terraces. The man-made. Many types of tourist attractions are purpose-built. This means that attractions are not natural and were created by men. Man-made tourist attractions can be separated into two groups, attractions that were made for tourist purposes and attractions that were made for other purposes but have since been used for tourism. Purpose-built types of tourist attractions are attractions that have been purposely developed for tourism. This could include a wide range of types of tourist attractions, such as theme parks, a zoo, or art galleries. Sports Attraction One of the most popular types of tourist attractions is sports events. Sports attractions make up an important part of the sports tourism industry. Whilst a sporting attraction may not always comprise a permanent infrastructure like many of the types of tourist attractions that we have discussed so far, sporting events are most certainly attractions in their own right. For example, is surfing. Special events. There are many special events that take place around the world that can be classed as types of tourist attractions. Special events come in all shapes and sizes and there is no end to different types of special events that can be organized. However, the most common types of special events are either markets, festivals and parades, exhibitions or, inter or entertainment venues. Festivals and parades are important components of tourism. And that is all for our report. Thank you for listening and may God bless us all.